love the cross pin position for side control for advancing. Sometimes though, you can get there and you're holding the lapel. And once you lock it in, it's okay. But if you're if they're really resisting and they're really strong, sometimes you can kind of wear your arms out a little bit. If you're pulling with your arms too much, your grips will wear out, your biceps will get sore, forearms will get pumped. Um, so this is a, a thing that I do. If any of y'all remember the rip cord move that I do with the lapel coming around, this is kind of the setup I use on it. And it's based off of one of Hodger's side control things. Uh, of course, I like things that Hodger does. Um, and, and you can really cook somebody. This arm is going to be at the shoulder, elbow in, right here, okay? This hand, I'm going thumb in the collar, so I can turn this up into the face, not the neck, into the face at any time. I just go high elbow to stop the turn on this side. Now this is what's different, okay, y'all? Get that just with the legs, okay? You know we set through to Kessa, kicking through here? It's the other way. So we're here, we've got our grip, and we're gonna sprawl out like this, okay? Wide base, really wide base, okay? This is hugging the body, and I'm taking my ribs on his ribs, and then I'm just laying into the thing, okay? Like. When you're working with each other on this, uh, hopefully you're able to keep your core tight while breathing at the same time. Hopefully you've developed those skills in life to be able to do that. If not, you're going to be holding your breath for a while. Okay? I'm here. I'm just sinking in just like this, keeping this base. I'm not worried about passing it. If you start to push me with his arms, don't pull back with your arms. Just let him push you away. Just keep sinking. Just let him push. Just keep this base out and let him burn his arms out while you're just continuously sinking into his rib cage. Then when you're ready to attack, we can attack. We're gonna see what he gives us, okay? Um, like if this hand's here in front of the face, a Kimura is out of the question, okay? It's in front of my face. I'm gonna keep cooking here. I'm gonna start laying down on him. My weight's still on him here. Now this arm's coming into play. He thinks I'm gonna go for it. He may put it by my head to kind of hide it here so I can't get that on. Now he's here. Now the Kimura would come into play, okay? This is where I would come here and track and get this arm. Okay, if you do this one, you're going to slide back to the elbow here. Connect the elbow to your chest. Don't try to do it from here. His arm can move too much. You're going to slide back to the elbow here. Now I can start attacking. If he tries to turn into me, <clears throat> I use this. If he tries to turn away from me, I've got this. I can keep him right here as long as I want to if I keep this good base. But, you know, wide sprawl here, okay? Uh, once you get it set, I want you to imagine that your rib cage is like a bowling ball, a really heavy one. Okay, big wrecking ball. You're going to take a deep breath in, and then you're going to release it, and just dead weight sink into his rib cage. I'm not pulling myself into it. That's going to burn my arm. I, the, the hands are just in position. The body, my legs, keep my frame, weight's all on him. I talked about coming over for the arm, for this arm attack. Also, I mentioned coming over for the canto choke right here. Okay? Now, hopefully for him, he keeps his elbow down and framed in here, okay? Some people though, the more desperate they get, they just try to do different stuff. If this elbow starts coming up at all, I'm in this position and this elbow is up at all, I'm gonna trap it here. Now the Canto choke is gonna be even more effective, okay? But I can also step over here for that and I've got an arm lock here. If, if he'd been holding onto my head here, I've got a near side arm lock here. All kinds of options, okay? Maybe you can finish both, I don't know. He takes a breath, oh, like he's, he's got, every time he takes a breath, I'm sinking more in. So when his diaphragm tries to expand, it's like a half breath. So he's not getting the oxygen he needs into his muscles. I'm just chilling right here, I'm fine. No big deal, I'm thinking about what I'm gonna do to him next. Okay, so we're looking, and if he's framing in front of the face here, I'm just keep my pressures on the ribs. I can push that off, no big deal. I can start working on that if I want to. Uh, I'm not gonna let the pressure off the go for it though, okay? It's kinda here, I can start coming forward and getting this to the mat, working that arm in. But I really want, I'm only faking this really to get it to like get rid of it and put it behind me. This is what I prefer. When it's behind me, now, now so I can really start attacking it and getting down here at the elbow, and now he's in big trouble, okay? And here I can turn this way. 
Okay, once I get here, I'm still doing the same thing. All my weight's here. Now I collect, I can arm lock, I can get the Kimura. I can try to finish it here, or I'm gonna switch my hips back. I'm gonna step over the head here and finish. Really come up on, on too much on the shoulder. Okay, a large array of submission options there. The whole time, he's just carrying my weight like that, okay? So if you're, if you're feeling light, if you're feeling very feeble in your side control pressure, give this a try, okay? And try to work some of these other options. Oops, sorry. If you like Kessa too, you can always switch to your Kessa, Kessa Gatami, like Kazur Kessa or standard. I prefer Kazur Kessa with here because I don't like people trying to take my back, okay? So you can even play that here. If it goes around my head, I can trap this here. And that's gonna make it even easier. Okay, so a lot of options. I can kick through here, start trapping the arm coming over, that whole, go to the Kessie Katami playlist on the channel. There's like 13 Kessie things there. Uh, one of the most popular playlists on the channel. Uh, but any questions on any of that? Does anyone, have, does anyone feel like you're not putting pressure on? I didn't think so because everyone looked like they were pretty, pretty desperate on bottom, so that's good. Uh, keep working that and add in some of these submission options, okay? You're, you're not going to do all of them. You're going to pick one or two that you really like and really hone in on those, uh, but just keep the other ones in your back pocket in case one of them doesn't work, but we go right to the note. Okay? One, two, three. Smooth.